guys, what's up? It's Kelly. I have a sleeping dog behind me. Do you see him? Do you see him? He's not so sleepy. I'm sorry. I'm being annoying. Uh, Alright guys, so today I am showing you my makeup collection. I meant to film this like three weeks ago. Kinda had time today. Kinda just and busting it out. The last time that you guys saw my makeup collection, I actually had really crappy drawers. I'm gonna link it down below just so you can see the difference between then and now. It was like a year and a half ago probably. But now I have the Alex drawers, you know, basic YouTuber stuff. I am in a smaller space, so I'm sorry if like the angle's a little bit funny. But you know what, we're just gonna go for it today. If you guys didn't notice my under eyes, um, the only reason why these dots are underneath my eyes today is because my lower lashes um transferred onto my concealer underneath my eyes so I was like you know what since there's all these black dots already there like maybe I'll just like keep my makeup on and make it look kind of editorial so here we are <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel if you've never seen me before hi thank you so much for being here oh my god my channel is kind of a wreck um I upload a video every single week or you know honestly whenever I want to <laughs> but if you guys want to join the fam there's going to be a red subscribe button down below don't forget to turn on my post notifications and get notified when I do my next video. That way you can keep up with me a little bit more and actually be able to see my things because you know YouTube algorithm is kind of just all over the place right now. So without further ado ladies and gentlemen we're just going to get into the video and you guys get to see my makeup collection. <music> Oh yeah, so totally forgot. Um, this is also going to be like uh, my vanity tour too. Vanity tour, makeup collection. Technically, it's almost like my filming setup too, so just, just keep watching. Okay, so this is my vanity. All right, so we've got my ring light right here. It is a 18 inch, right? I think it's 18 inch uh, newer ring light. I have that on all the time when I'm doing my makeup and stuff. This is a desktop for the Alex drawers. I have an Alex drawer right there and one right over here. Most of my makeup is in this one right here. I have a garbage can because, you know, it's essential. This is my top drawer. These are all of the items that I use on a daily basis. All of these in here are gonna be like kind of my random singles that I use for like editorial looks. So we've got some NYX Vivid Brights, lots of NYX single shadows. Um, a few old Urban Decay shadows. A lot of these are just like really old singles and little tiny palettes. Um, got some Lancome, got some NYX in here. Maybelline down in the bottom. I really don't use these very much, hence all the dust. These are my day-to-day -day items right in here. Cody Airspun, this one I use occasionally. It's in the Naturally Neutral. I like that better than like the translucent one, I guess. My RCMA No Color Powder, I use this almost every day for setting my face. I have the Pure Translucent Setting Powder. This stuff is the bomb. So what else I use on a day-to-day -day basis? We have my foundations right here, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and the Maybelline, no, that's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I've got my concealer, the Boing Airbrush Concealer is awesome. Bye Bye Redness from It Cosmetics, I use this as a concealer or a day-to-day touch-up. I've got an Anastasia little dip brow right here. My favorite highlighter is the Anastasia Amrezi. Look at, look at, look at, she's so pretty. And then we've got all of my concealers right here. So I basically go in between these three shades of the shape tape. And then I have my dupe, which is the Makeup Revolution. And I kind of just use that for occasionally when I don't have to look like the shape tape, but it looks like, you know, whatever. It's like the shape tape, but not. Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick. This is actually one of their foundations. It's just like in a really, really dark shade. Works perfect for contour though. And then back in here, I have my setting spray. I typically use the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then I've got a couple bronzers, couple blushes. This is where I keep my bronzer and blushes like deep back in here. Then um, I always keep my All Nighter powder in here. It's okay, I haven't used it a whole ton because I'm very, very fair and it just doesn't work very well for my skin tone, but whatever. More brow stuff, and then we'll move on to these little guys. So in this one, I have all of my eye products. So a bunch of Tarte, Stila liners, Tarte liner, um, I keep my Anastasia Brow Wiz in here and this is what I use for my more natural day-to-day -day looks with my brows instead of like my really intense looks. A whole ton of mascaras in the back. We've got the Stila Huge, Better Than Sex, uh, Smashbox, the, the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. I love this mascara. 
And you guys know me, I have my holy grail in here. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This stuff is amazing. I actually just threw out my old one, so that's in here. And then I also keep my brow gels. Brow gels, I have the Ico brow gel. And then I actually have my Glossier Boy Brow in here too. And this one's in clear. I want to get tinted ones because that's a little bit nicer. And then my next one here in the corner, this is all just like brow stuff and like extra things that I use for different types of looks. So I've got a NYX brow gel in here. I've got a whole bunch of different like pencil eyeshadows that I like to use a lot. I've got my Ka Brow in here. Don't use this one as often anymore. A L'Oreal gel eyeliner. I've got my Gimme Brow in here. Love my Gimme Brow. I usually do this if I don't do the Boy Brow from Glossier. Primer Potion from Urban Decay. This is my holy grail stuff. It's awesome. Some NYX brow powder. As you can see, I've hit pan really, really bad on this. That's because I use it for my faux freckles. And then down here in the bottom, Primer Stick from Anastasia. A couple more like drugstore things for brows and eyes. More stick eyeshadows and brow gel in there. Moving on to the second drawer down. This is my kind of like skincare drawer and my frequently used kind of items too. So the top two drawers I use all, all the time every single day. I actually just got a couple more dividers that I need to put in in the rest of my vanity but this is what's happening right now. In this one I've got my Real Technique sponges, my Morphe sponge. These I use often and have to get damp often so they're right here where I can grab them quick. All of my old eyelashes, I actually have two boxes of lashes in here that I just need to go through and use and I typically use those for like more editorial and like fun looks and stuff. Not as much for tutorials because these are like five to seven time uses already. Tweezers, chapstick, and glue and then I also have my contacts in here too because it just helps to keep them with the rest of my kind of like skincare. Since I frequently use moisturizers, I've got my favorite moisturizers right here. Simple moisturizer. This is my holy grail. I've been using it for like two or three years now, probably three years honestly. Um, and then this is a new find. I feel like I talked about it in one of my um, glowy skin routine videos. This is the Glow Skin Beauty Hydra Radiance Moisturizer. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has like a pearlescent glow to it. So I typically like to use this one during the daytime. I've got my Mario Badescu facial spray. Love this stuff. It's really nice for kind of setting my makeup, like getting more of a dewy look. This is one of my favorite nighttime moisturizers. It's the Paracone H2 Elemental Energy. It has like hyaluronic acid in it or like something like that to hydrate my face. SPF, I don't really want this in here. Don't know why it's in here, but it is. So that's gonna stay up there for a second. Tattoo lotion, when I do get another tattoo, I'm gonna need this, so I've been saving it. In this drawer, I have a lot of tools too, so I got my pencil sharpener. I've got a couple extractor tools right here. This is actually a face shaver. Super fun, absolutely love it. And then going along the theme with like the contact stuff, contact cases in here when I need it. This is my tea tree oil. I use this on my piercings. If you guys wanna see how I clean my piercings, it'll be linked down below or up up somewhere on here. Then, like I said, Urban Decay. This is my favorite in Eden. This is another primer potion when I run out of my other one. Got Lash Curler. This is my little buddy full of essential oils. Back here, I've got all of my little skin samples and stuff, and you'll notice that like right here and right here. Clinique samples, I get a lot of skin samples from work. Skin samples, I have a couple different like editorial things in here as well. Little individual lashes back here. This little buddy is super awesome. Um, I've got a bunch of different lash glues in here. This is the one from Benefit. Mostly these I use on my fun looks pretty much. It's all like my liquid liners, my milk pencil, I've got a black pencil, I've got some glitter in here. Let's see, more glitter, some yellow liquid eyeshadow, a couple of different brow products. Oh look, I've got a Stila glitter down in here. And then yeah, it's mostly just like NYX stuff, glues, glitters. What not. Oh, and then I also have a silicone blender sponge. Hate, hate this. And then I've got some eyelashes here in the front. All right, you guys, so this is a little bit of my deeper drawer. I'm very, very excited about this drawer because I've got all sorts of palettes in here. So I've got all of my Anastasia palettes on this side. Let's yank them out. We've got the Soft Glam, Modern Renaissance. Um, I've got my Subculture palette and then my Prism palette as well. Anastasia is my favorite eye makeup. <laughs> Anastasia is actually my favorite brand in general, so I like to have a lot of their stuff laying around. So we're gonna kind of like dig in here. More Anastasia stuff, I've got both of their glow kits. This one's the Sugar Glow Kit. This is my favorite, favorite glow kit. It's so pretty. And then we've got 
the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. It's a little bit too bronzy for me, so I don't use it very often, but still a must have. While we're still on Anastasia, I'm gonna grab out my Anastasia Blush Kit. This one is in Radiant. I use this color so much terrace oh my gosh i love 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 this color these are my favorite blushes they come out very very pigmented they're super cute this is the first eyeshadow palette that i ever got i got it for my birthday or something so it's 120 colors honestly it's so old like six years old there's probably not much like payoff but still dip into it for more of like my cosplay makeup and that kind of stuff and this is a BH Cosmetics, so alrighty. Then I've got my Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. I used to use this one a lot, still have it around for just in case. And I actually have, I've got the Naked 2. I actually had the Naked 3, but my nephew stole it and my sister just kept it. So technically I have more palettes than, I, than what it looks like. So <laughs> this is my only Too Faced palette. It's the Sweet Peach palette. I really, really loved this palette for a while, but since I found out Anastasia, I kind of, it just sits around basically. Smells really good though. And then I got this random NYX birthday palette. Haven't, I don't know, I use it sometimes. It's okay. So a big guy in the back here. This is my Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. This is my first Morphe palette. Oh my God, I don't support Jaclyn Hill whatsoever, but these shades are freaking gorgeous. I use them all the time. Absolutely love them. Definitely a staple. Limited edition pure My Little Pony palette. Um, I use this pink color over here a ton. Love, love, love this color. That's actually the reason why I bought the palette. And then down here in the bottom, I've got my Urban Decay palettes. This one's a face palette. Don't use it very often. As you can see, I still have the brush in there. This is like two years old. It's okay. This is my Moon Dust palette from Urban Decay. I'm actually allergic to the glitters in this palette, so I don't ever use this palette. All right, in the back here, I start to go into my contour palettes. I've got two Glow Skin Beauty contour palettes. One is in the medium to deep, medium to dark, and then the other one is the fair to light. So these are actually the palettes that I consistently use on my customers when I do like friends makeups and stuff like that for events and whatnot. Alright, so I have a couple NYX palettes back in here. We've got my NYX powder contour, my NYX cream contour palette. This is one of my favorite blushes from MAC. Oh, this is my Use Sculpted palette. Absolutely love this. As you can see, I totally just like demolished this shade right in here. Alright, we've got some more MAC eyeshadows. These are six years old at least. Oh, hey! It's my chin. <laughs> um, this is an Estee Lauder palette. It's really old. And then I've got a couple Maybelline palettes. I actually used these when I first started YouTube. Alright friends, welcome to my foundation drawer. This is actually like all of my um, base makeup that I keep down in here. We're gonna start on this side with this little guy. So everything I keep here in the front is stuff that I frequently use. This is gonna be my concealer and BB CC cream little holder. So in here I've got the IT Cosmetics CC cream. We've got another Tarte Shape Tape, um, a NARS concealer. I don't use this one very often. It's very, very fair. Some Maybelline. I have a couple different foundations in here. This one is the Too Faced. This one is the Becca. Love, love, love this BB cream back in here from L'Oreal. This BB cream breaks me out from Maybelline. This is a liquid blush from Benefit. Got my Infallible Pro Glow. I should just throw these out. I haven't used those in forever. True Match Concealer. Another BB cream from Rimmel. This is another one of of my little face containers. So I've got mostly primers, liquid blushes, liquid highlights, Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid, super duper awesome. The NYX Angel Veil is one of my favorite primers as well. Um, I've got my Glossier Little Cloud Paints uh, Glossier Highlighter. My CoverGirl Outlast, this is one of my favorite, favorite primers of all time. So, so good. And then we've got my NYX Hydra Touch. This is actually one of my favorite primers of all time too. Tarte Poreless Primer, that one's okay, not my favorite. Smashbox Photo Finish, I hate this thing. A couple liquid highlighters from Makeup Revolution. This one's from Benefit. This is a color corrector from NYX. Um, one of my favorite primers. This is Primed and Peachy from Too Faced. I still need to buy the big one, so that's why it's in there to remind me at some point. Another one of my favorite primers, the Benefit Professional Pearl. This one is so, so beautiful on the skin and blurs your imperfections. And then we've got my Liquid Illuminator. This is a little dark for me and a blush that's a little dark for me as well. Down here in the bottom, I've got another all-nighter spray because I got these two in a pack so I could save some money. Right over in this far corner here, I've got all of my squeezy tube foundations. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay. It's quite fair for me for where I'm at right now, so I haven't been using it. Um, both of these in 
infallible foundations from L'Oreal are just a little bit dark for me so I usually mix them with another foundation. The Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation, this is actually one of my favorite foundations. It's now technically called Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. They formulated it a teeny bit different but it's basically the same so I'm just using this up until I get a hydrating foundation. My kind of drugstore foundations are foundations I don't use very often. This is my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It is in the color nude, way too dark for me. Honestly, it's like more of my summer color, but I never tan, so here we are. Bare Minerals foundation. This one is a philosophy foundation. Both of them are not my color, and I kind of just keep them for, you know, whenever you need some something else. These are all of my Fit Me foundations. They're all kind of just different shades a little bit. Haven't used them in a long time, but I just keep them around just in case I want to try them again. Now we're going to start moving back into the back, which is mostly powders. Got my NYX Banana Powder, my NYX HD uh, Translucent Powder, and then I got the Candy Banana Powder. This one is way too dark for me. Back here, I've got a MAC Foundation. It's very, very lightweight on the skin, gives me like minimal coverage. I use this when I'm a little bit tanner too, which hasn't been the case for a few months. So, <laughs> a few months, Kelly, more like years. My cushion foundations, I've got one from Mally. It comes out really nice and creamy. And then um, this cushion foundation is my tan shade. So this is when I get like spray tans and stuff. I use this cushion foundation because it matches me, but it doesn't match me now, obviously. I've got my Makeup Revolution Ghost Powder. I've actually never used this before. Yep, never have used it. That's fine. Cody Airspun, like I was talking about, this is the translucent extra coverage that everybody seems to love, but I hate because it oxidizes on me. A Revlon setting powder. Haven't used this one in so long, and it's very, very flashback, so we're just gonna... All right, I've got my Lorac... Lorac? Lorac? Translucent setting powder. This crap is so messy. It's so bad. Here I've got some of my hard candy little bronzers. Makeup Revolution Baked Bronzer. Absolutely hate this stuff. It's really, really orange on me. I've got my Candlelight Glow from Too Faced. This one's really old too. This is my... Lancome foundation. Ooh, I should start using this again for a powder foundation. I always forget I have this. So this one is in the porcelain. Yes, that is me. Pale, pale as can be. Back here, I've got some like Maybelline stuff, some old MAC stuff, some NARS stuff, some Bare Minerals stuff, little highlighter from Makeup Revolution, a little, I believe this is blushes. Yeah, blushes from Estee Lauder. I always love when you can see like underneath my chin. <sighs> <laughs> so this is just like my bottom drawer. I just kind of have some random crap in here. This is where I keep all of my nail polishes, all of my receipts, mostly from Ulta, just to see how much money I've spent on makeup. This is where my extensions and some of my glasses are kept as well, so super cool. All right, in the bottom drawer on this side, I kind of just have like stuff like cotton swabs, little hand wipes. Um, this is where my sticker collection is, my palette, that kind of stuff, super cute. But this is where I keep all of my makeup bags, cases, whatnot all in here stuff for like travel for my makeup all right in this drawer I keep all of my different hair stuff I've got a couple different like one inch tools there's a one and a half inch one in here there's a heat pad there's little heat gloves hair dryer whatnot if you can see right over here that's where I plug all of these in to do my hair every day. Welcome to my lip drawer. I love how this drawer is organized. It's so, so cute. Okay, so we're gonna start out in the front. These are all of my Smashbox lip samples because I had to do a contest for Smashbox. They just DM'd me today and said I'm a finalist, so woohoo! If I made top three, then that'll be super cool, but I'll just have to wait till I see the email at work. This is where I keep my lip liners. I have one other lip liner, but it's not here right now. Don't know where it is. This is a matte Modifier for any of my glossy lips. This is my liquid lipstick, like wand lipstick apparatus here. I have a couple little minis from Urban Decay. These ones are their old liquid lipsticks that they that they discontinued. I've got an Estee Lauder one in here, a whole bunch of the NYX lip lingerie. These are all my babies, my Anastasia liquid lipsticks. See, I've got some lip scents in here. That's okay. I've got a Huda Beauty in here. Don't like this very much. A couple more NYX ones. I've got some color pop in here. There's one, two. I know that I have at least three more of these, but I'm not sure where they are. One Too Faced Melted Matte. This one's okay. I usually put a gloss over top of it. This is an Urban Decay Hi-Fi High Shine. Little liquid lip gloss. And then I've got a Lime Crime in here and then a couple different like drugstore brands. I've got my L'Oreal Double Ended Liquid Lipsticks. Love these. All right, friends, we're gonna dig deeper into 
this drawer. These are all of my traditional lipsticks. Um, most of them I don't tend to use. I've got a couple of MAC ones in here. I have a Katy Perry one. Hate that one. Loved these ones from the High Voltage from NYX. Love, love, love those. A um, couple little Smashbox minis in here, like Estee Lauder, Lancome, that kind of stuff. Don't use these ones very often. So I've got a couple of the Glow Skin Beauty little lipsticks. I love these things. They're so nice, super hydrating, super comfy. Let's see, we've got an It Cosmetics glass in here. I've got more like latex finish kind of stuffs in here. These, this is the Glow Skin Beauty stuff. This is actually when they were called Glow Minerals. Those are super old. I use them occasionally. And then a couple NARS pencils in there. All right, and this one, I've got a couple of the Glossier little lipsticks and then some more of the Glow Skin Beauty stuff. And then this is mostly just like my, my NYX stuff. Um, all of my little creams. I've got an Ulta matte cream in there. There's my little soft matte lip creams. This is, this is full of soft matte lip creams. Love all of the nude shades if you can't tell and then also in my lip drawer I've got my lip exfoliator from Pacifica and a lip freak. This is like a tingling chapstick It's okay. All right friends. My last drawer is kind of my junk drawer. I know what's in here but it, It's a it's a mess hair stuff tape scissors headband mirror if I need it piercings jewelry Jewelry, jewelry, batteries, uh, hairbrush, you know. Welcome to my vanity. I keep hand sanitizer, brush, cleanser, Q-tips. I also keep water right here. This is very important to keep water right here because what if I need to wet something down or clean off my little guy here. This is the black opium. Sorry if you guys can't see very well. You're going like straight into the light. Small brushes right in front. This is a little tea light candle holder um, and this is where I keep some of my brushes. Uh, these are the ones I use to day to day kind of like on the nicer side like my Morphe brushes, Anastasia brushes, I've got a couple scan brushes, it brushes, lots of blending brushes in this one. This is also a tea light candle holder. I keep all of my paint brushes in here. Okay there's a face brush in here too but I keep most of my paint brushes in here, liner brushes, lip brushes, that kind of stuff that I can just get a little bit more messy. I do need to clean all of the ones inside here right now that's fine in this guy this is where some of my fatter brushes start to go so I have a lot of little foundation brushes this is where I keep a lot of my morphe brushes if you guys want to see a brush collection let me know down in the comments I use a lot of it brushes the real techniques brushes there's an urban decay one in here and this this little elephant is from TJ Maxx then I've got this fun little QB geometrical kind of one in the back and this has all of my really fat brushes in it mostly powder brushes contour brushes, that kind of stuff. There's an eyeshadow brush in here. Don't know why that's in there. That's fine. This one I got at TJ Maxx as well. And they just hold my brushes real nice. This one's dirty. That one's real dirty. Ooh. So this is kind of a little bit of what like my setup looks like. I have these little branches here in the back and I got those at Gordman's. Then I've got my little camera charger right there that charged my batteries. Right here is my trifold vanity mirror. I'm pretty sure you can purchase this at Ulta. But OOTD, this is what I'm wearing. This is an Electra Crops and Tees crop crop shirt. And then I'm wearing some thrifted little mom jean shorts. They actually roll down a ton. They go like mid-thigh on me. Super cute, super fun. This is where I sit and the magic happens every single day. I want a new mirror right here though because this is just like super hard to bend over and still look at the camera which is typically right here. So battery charger because that is very essential. Here I keep my contact solution. My sister made me this cute eyelash thing. I think that's super fun. I got a candle warmer so that it's nice and cozy and smell good in here. And that's where my Kleenex is going. Oh, it's just a gaping hole right now. Some Beats headphones, both of my pairs of sunglasses, and then I've got this cute little fox here with a crown on, but this is my cute little fox. He's got ferns coming out of him, and then I have a salt lamp for good vibes. <laughs> Voila, so that is like the overview of my whole little vanity. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed seeing all of my makeup. I just wanna put a disclaimer out there. I am not bragging in any way. Most all of the products I have paid for, some of them have been discounted because I do work at a place and get sent things occasionally for being a YouTuber and a beauty, whatever. But for the most part, all of this stuff is 
paid by moi. Don't forget, I am doing a huge 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you guys want to hit that red subscribe button, once I hit 5,000 subscribers, then I just have like a massive haul here. I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a little, I'll get a little sneak peek for you guys real quick. This is my box filled with goodies for my subscriber giveaway. Please enter my giveaway. I have very many prestigious items in here. Yes, yes, prestigious items. Come and join me and you guys will be put in the running when I hit 5,000 subscribers. So thanks again for watching today, you guys. I love each and every single one of you. I hope you have an awesome, amazing, awesome, cool afternoon, evening, night, day, morning, middle of 3 a.m. with your popcorn in your lap. I don't know. Whatever time of day it is, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.